on this week's GTA 5 O'Clock. Jetpacks, T-Rexes, ghost cars, amazing new Easter eggs and the latest on the UFO conspiracy. Up to the minute news on GTA Online, plus immense explosions, insane physics, random penises and breaking bad in your amazing in-game photos. It's all in this week's bumper show. It's GTA 5 O'Clock. <laughs> Hi, welcome to this week's GTA 5 O'Clock. I'm Tim Weaver. I'm here with Dan Dawkins. Hello, Dan. Hello. Dan, another exciting week in the life of GTA 5. Yeah, lots of excitement, lots of connection problems with GTA Online. In fact, not just connection problems, but the bigger problem of people creating characters, losing them, losing hundreds of thousands of dollars, losing all their RP points, lots of frustration. But there is a chink of light through the clouds. We've got an update on all the latest uh, patches, uh, Rockstar's plans and to some of your stories uh, and lots of other exciting stuff today including the best of the social club snapmatic photos yep some classic ones there uh, we've also got uh, an update on the Mount Chiliad UFO conspiracy including uh, side spin-offs involving T-Rex uh, aliens in GTA Online and the reoccurrence of ghost cars in GTA Online Goodness me. So quite the menu. Uh, please do subscribe or follow us on Twitter or both. Uh, we'd love to hear from you, as always, about the show, about any other content we do. Please do get in touch. We always try to read your messages. So, Dan, GTA Online, as you alluded to, uh, a bit of a traumatic week again for Rockstar in a lot of ways. Uh, maybe you just give us an update on what's happened. Yeah, one week on from launch, I mean, it's been a, a pretty troubled week, let's be fair. Um, I think, you know, I've been defending it because we had found things okay on Xbox. Certainly last week we've been connecting not too bad and with relatively few problems apart from connecting in lobbies. Now, at home I play on PS3. Again, it was relatively fine. I mean, at the first day I literally couldn't get in because there was no way to connect. And then, you know, we tried all the different tricks of... And again, I think connection isn't the issue anymore, but there are three different ways to try and get around connection issues. One is to, when you're actually loading the game, you can press X, or is it the A button on Xbox? Mm. And you toggle whether you load directly into online or the story mode, so that's one option. The second is when you're actually in single-player game to press start, and then on the, on the main pause menu click across to online and like launch game that's another way to get in and the other way to get in is to click down on the character wheel and select your online avatar now usually using one of those three methods you could like break into online secret prison yeah uh, now that seems to be less of a problem and the issue is more now people who've created characters and then had them magically disappear the next time they've loaded mm. this is partly because well essentially because rockstar's cloud servers haven't been connecting to your game properly so as a result, you're logging in and it's not finding your identity. Now what happened was people were then creating like proxy or fake identities just to play a session, you know, there and then. Yeah. Which is what happened to me is I recreated me uh, having lost a character who was like level eight. And essentially I really liked how that character looked and I got everything just so. And then I had to create a new identity. Now it looks like my new identity is my identity because the old characters just seems to have been flushed away for all time. Right. So that's really frustrating. And I, I was relatively short way into the game. Some people were reporting being on, like, you know, rank 20, hundreds of thousands of dollars having lost it, some even higher. So there's understandably a lot of frustration and anger out there. Uh, and, I mean, I guess the thing to remember is that rank 20 with hundreds of thousands of dollars, it takes time to get to that that level of of rank. You know, we, we played around in, in online um, quite a lot and, you know, took on quite a lot of missions and you're not earning big bucks from some of these missions in, in, in the game, certainly not the starter missions. Yeah, no, not at all. So I think, you know, that's a lot of grafting, a lot of multiplayer work, uh, a lot of store hold-ups. You know, holding up a store is only like $1,500 or something. Mm. Uh, it's quite easy for things to go wrong and, you know, items are expensive, clothes are expensive. It's like life. Yeah. Uh, things are expensive. Uh, now, Rockstar, I've clearly noticed this as an issue and whilst there's no formal communication on this as we speak from the uh, you know the support uh, website or from the Rockstar Newswire, what they have done is during the game as it loads in GTA Online, there's like a message warning, which explains essentially, like, do not if you want to keep the character you've built, do not attempt to create a new one in the empty slot where your avatar should appear. So it does warn you, and it also talks about maybe connecting from the pause menu rather than 
you know, one of the other means we mentioned. So mm-hmm. Rockstar are aware of the issue. All they've basically said is, you know, it says there, we're, we are working diligently to identify and correct the causes for these losses, as well as to establish how best to restore any lost progress and value. Mm-hmm. So, you know, again, and I guess this is why they've disabled microtransactions, because if you had actually paid real money, yeah, for money for virtual money and then lost that virtual money you are losing real money mm. and then rockstar have got an issue about how to certify who's paid for what could be hundreds of thousands of people it's a nightmare for them to unpick now as we speak the very latest thing is there's been a new patch released it's called gta 5 patch 1.03 which is 39 meg on ps3 and 59 meg on xbox 360 they haven't officially confirmed what it does but it seems to us that it's closing off some exploitable loops within GTA Online. Yeah. People were reporting a mission relatively short way in where you could keep repeating it and getting like 9 to 10k a time and just spam betting on that mission and doing it and doing it and doing it and doing exploits with like group stuff as well. Now obviously that's like a bit of a cheat and would queer up the internal economy so it looks like Rockstar are closing that loop but outside of that we're not really sure what else this patch has done and there's lots of things that you know within the world are weird, and we'll look at them later on, like physics glitches, um, you know, characters changing appearance for no reason, characters losing their arms and walking around and just just being weird. Mm. So this it, it's still it's it's an active you know monitoring, and it needs it needs work to get to a place where it's really stable and really works as you want it to. I mean, you know, Rockstar are pretty a pretty smart bunch, so they would have anticipated problems of some description launching something as big as this but do you think you know e- even then they've been probably slightly surprised and taken aback by the level of problems there have been yeah they must they must be and we've had like no official or informal I, I doubt whether they will obviously talk yeah. about that um but i mean i guess the issue is how do you to what level do you plan for things to go wrong you know inevitably things will go wrong because you're launching what is effectively going to become if not already an MMO uh, so you know how, how do you plan it I don't, I don't know I'm not a programmer but it does seem to be like lots and lots and lots of problems which perhaps we wouldn't necessarily have expected I, I don't know I think it's that thing of you know you, you can prepare and you, like these people have said to us you did the beta trial and you said it was running okay you lied to us mm. and it's like well no the truth was the beta trial ran a lot smoother because it was a much smaller set of people mm. and a much more controlled set and let's say there were hundreds of people on the beta trial or even like a thousand or something like it's much much smaller than like the 20 million plus GTA Online owners all trying to play at once and yeah. so you can't you can't really whilst you can sort of you know try and strategize about that theory and you can scenario play you can't tell until it actually starts how are you going to deal with it mm. I guess it's like my you know if I was to now start contingency planning for a zombie outbreak yeah you know I, I might have the doors nailed down and all the food in the cupboard and various different things but when they start pouring in through the chimney I might be like I hadn't planned for this yeah so you're having to deal with things ad hoc so there we go GTA Online essentially a zombie invasion yeah uh, in so many words yeah Oh, that's yeah. a good way of, uh, of, of putting it. Yeah. Um, anything else on GTA Online, uh, uh, Dan, before we move on? Uh, no, all I would say is if, if you want to keep up to date with it, uh, follow, you know, at Rockstar Games on Twitter. That's usually pretty good. Uh, obviously, you can follow us on at GTA Via Clock, and we'll be linking through with the latest stuff. Also, if you head on the uh, support.rockstargames.com, they've got, like, all their latest official updates. And it's, it's much more forensic, where it will talk you through the different error messages what they mean, what the current status is, what the current fix is. You know, I, I just think it's it's, go, it's going to be, I think, another week or two at least until this settles down. And, and then, even outside of the fact, technically, is it working, there's lots of things in the world where, you know, aren't very good anyway, or aren't as you like them to be. Like, the character editor's still a bit murky. Mm. There's still issues about, you know, I've been trying to put our GTA 5 o'clock emblem on T-shirts, but the emblem only applies in the background colour you've set it on. So if you put a white emblem on a black T-shirt, it looks ridiculous, like a sticker. There's all sorts of things that you would love to have tweaked and fixed. Yeah. Again, Rockstar have got an official like uh, feedback email. I'm sure they've got an enormous list of things to fix mm-hmm. through. So I think we've just got to stick with it. Or If it's really too much, just step away from it. Play some normal GTA 5. Go outside and you know smell the fresh air for a bit. Yeah. Then we can all come back to GTA Online. 
Okay, so uh, that's an update on online. Uh, another thing we've seen plenty of this week, Dan, are photos from the game, beautiful photos from the game uh, via Rockstar Social Club. Yeah, we thought we'd go in and pick the best of your Snapmatic picks. Now, mm. these are, the, the, we think, the finest pictures available, you know, from people around the world who've taken them. They're, and they're, again, you go on, you know, the Social Club, and the truth of it is, like in almost any medium, the pictures that rise to the top are either violent, offensive, sexy, explosive, or well, rude, sexy, and explosive. Yeah. All variations All within. So we're going to pick out a mixture of essentially moderately sexy and explosive ones, but with a few artsy ones that we think like demonstrate a level of skill and nuance. Mm. So we'll start off with uh, a sort of stunning monochrome bicycle atop a hill with a sunset. Which very is, nice. It's a very nice shot, I think. Yeah. And again, I don't know how you've got the bike just to stand there. I guess it just does on its stand, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So they've just used the stand. So That's I'm a good shot, that. Yeah, it's a lovely shot. This, uh, these are the most popular shots coming up on uh, Social Club now. And there he is, look. Who's there he that? is. So Brian Cranston, a.k.a. Walter White, a.k.a. Michael from GTA 5. So there we are, Michael being the dude from Breaking Bad. Yeah. So well done. So, and it's nice to have the camper van there. If anyone who's watched Breaking Bad will instantly associate with that. Yeah. A uh, very oddball pick next. That is weird. How have, I wonder how they've achieved that. I don't know. It's, it's Jimmy sat on the sofa burning while Tracy looks on implacable watching presumably fame or shame now I've seen another shot with both of them burning so I don't know if there's some glitch in this area of the game where you know inexplicably one of them bursts into flames um, I guess if you if you poured petrol on them they'd probably react to that wouldn't they unless you stealthily poured petrol on them again I've not tried pouring petrol on my own children while no. playing as Michael uh, maybe this is the results of it yeah maybe yeah um, there's also because I, I reported on the show that I had a problem with where I went back into Michael's house and Amanda was stood on the kitchen table with her <laughs> arms with sellotape bourbon bottles on each arm stood on the, on the table and I thought it was her just going loco but then I went, when I went in the lounge, Tracy was stood on the kitchen table as well, ah. but without bourbon and sellotape to her arms. Ah. So a really weird Moment. glitch thing. Yeah. Now, this is great fun, the next clip. Oh, that is good. So, yeah, guys used his little sprunk motorcycle to do a perfect burnout and create, like, a perfect circle and then two eyes and a little smile. That is really good. We've got a great variation on this theme later on, Tim. Can you guess what they've drawn? Um... Does it involve a male part? Well, let's just find out later on. Uh, I thought this was a nice <laughs> shot. That's good. Because it's just really unusual and, and eye-catching in every way. Uh, that looks like Tracy, is it? It does look a bit like her, but... Whether it is or not, I don't know, but um, it's a really great shot. Yeah. It shows off the character models. Yeah. Nice bit of surprise. Love it. Next one. Oh, that's good. How do they get that? I don't know. You must have to wait. Wait, wait, wait. So, yeah, this is uh, Franklin taking a selfie as a shark leaps out like a dolphin behind him. Uh, now, again, I don't know whether this is a glitch or if sharks will actually leap out of the water, but it's a cracking shot. Yeah, either that, he's just a really tiny shark the size of uh, Franklin's head, coming up to munch Franklin's head. Oh, I see what you mean, like he's just put him on a stick next <laughs> yeah. to him. Yeah, it's probably that. <laughs> yeah, that seems the most likely explanation. Okay, it's the opening scene from Lost, give or take. Oh, that's good. It's amazing, isn't it? So I wonder how that's uh, come about. Someone's crashed a, sh shot a, it down. a commercial line or shot it yeah. down, and it's landed like donk without exploding in what looks like the Alamo Sea. Yeah. Amazing. So I don't know how they've done that. Next oh, one. What oh, film's that? Oh, Men in Black, isn't it? That's the good. Mid. That's really good. Yeah, it's really nice, isn't it? Yeah. So again, this seems to be like a sub-theme of people recreating movie scenes. That's good. That's that's. That takes a clever mind to do stuff like that. Yeah, it's really smart. And again, with with the UFO there and the dudes in the outfits, it looks absolutely spot on. Michael's face, how malleable. It is, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's been Max Payne, Brian Cranston, Tommy Lee Jones. Yeah. Michael. He's got it all who, going on. Who can't he be? Okay, little cute Easter egg on the sort of Walk of Fame, uh, you know, near the Oriental Theatre. It's OG Loke. The famous rubbish rapper from GTA yep. San Andreas. Yeah, well, he's got his he's got his Vinewood Walk of Fame though. So yeah, he's he's made it. He's a he's a big dog. So it's nice to see OG Loke in there. What's that then? Oh yeah, that's good as well. And now look, Michael's playing what? 
John Travolta. It looks like he looks like Harvey Keitel doing an impression of John Travolta. He he's not a million miles away from John Travolta though. That no, the hair, hair's that hair perfect. Style's perfect. Yeah, and like Franklin, well, basically looks like Samuel L. Jackson, and yeah. outside the burger shop, again, like a cute. That's great. Yeah, it's it's a really cute bit of framing. I love yeah. that. Oh, Trev. Ah, oh, Trevor. So yeah, it's it's just <laughs> Trevor's got a good confusion face. Yeah. Uh, it's just Trevor with a sex doll, yeah. which for Trevor is just another day in the life of Trevor. Uh, okay. What? Yeah, it's Michael having, I think, driven a motorbike through his front door up the steps, which I guess you could probably do. And it looks like he's parked it on Amanda's head. <laughs> that is. Maybe this is a deleted scene, which is one of the many reasons, uh, you know, she, spoiler alert, uh, you know, isn't that pleased with him. Yeah. Oh, that's good. So there we go. It's just a man chatting to an alien. Now, again, that alien doesn't look unlike the sort of... Alien alien. The, the repeated alien we see throughout the game. Yeah. You know, the, the alien under the ice we see in the prologue. Yeah. Uh, and there he is. Looks like he's... Maybe it's not a man in a suit. Chatting to his bro. So Maybe it's actually an alien. Maybe. So there he is, chatting to a man. That's clever. Look at that. A guy's parked a bike on a handrail and dematerialised himself. Uh, so, yeah, that's it. If that's a true and not a doctored shot, that's a yeah. good bit of physics. That is a good bit of physics. Tom Foolery. So well done to that man. Oh, whoa, man. Ooh. Look at explosion. That. So yeah, somebody's waited by the junction and probably parked a car waiting for the train yeah. to come. And as the train's come, they slap the exact moment the car gets hit and there's particles are plenty. That is good. This is a naughty one. I don't know if we're allowed to show this. It's the goose pants. Oh, with some trees poking out the well, top. With trees poking out the top. Right. So, uh, naughty. Naughty, naughty. It's not that naughty. But it's uh, it's uh, it's quite cleverly done. Yeah, it is. As, yeah. as goose snaps go. Yeah. Well done, that person. Yeah. Okay, another uh, opportunist shot of fork lightning, which actually looks like I think a lightning stick man running up a hill. Oh yeah. Yeah, it does. Yeah, lightning stick man. So I don't know if that's what they meant. <laughs> to be, but it is. Oh, oh, moody. Trevor emerging. This is uh, Trevor when he was in that, uh, what do you call them? Mime act, or whatever it oh, is. Oh, yeah, yeah. Emerging from the shadows. So. Marcel, Marcel. It's yeah. good. <laughs> it's a nice one. Yeah. Oh, Trev. It is classic Trev, and it's someone doing what we tried to do not that successfully uh, yeah. on one of our videos on the channel to create the biggest explosion possible. Well, this guy's done it. And I guess done it with like uh, sticky bombs and various different things, and recorded it exactly at the That's moment. That's great. I like the way Trev looks as well. Don't seem that bothered by it, does he? Classic Trev. Classic straight, Trev. straight from the sex dolls to a giant freeway explosion. Yeah. There we are. Of course. Thought we'd end on this one, Tim, because yeah. this is high art. It's it finest. is high art. Wherever there's drawing utensils, you're only a couple of lines away from a peen. Yeah, and there it is. So I, I've got to say, impressively, if if that if that. Objet de art has been written <laughs> with the, that vehicle. That's some fine burnout. That is, yeah. Because to, to draw a, a member of the man's genitalia with a like a SUV, you know, or what do you call it, transit van. Yeah. That's really impressive. Yeah, it is impressive, yeah. So in many ways I doth my cap. Yeah, I doth my cap to that objet d'art. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, Dan, so we've seen some pictures. Now let's talk about conspiracy theories. Uh, lots here. Uh, this week, uh, first of all, an update on the UFO conspiracy, uh, and then dinosaurs, ghosts, and Thelma and Louise. Yep. So thank you for all your links relating to the Mount Chiliad UFO conspiracy, which if you're not aware of, you can click the link on the screen now, and it will take you to our explanation video. Uh, bottom line is we, you know, we suspect there is a hidden jetpack in GTA 5, but we haven't found the right combination to unlock it. There are some very weird things in the game that require very obscure combinations of timing and circumstance to see them or to create them. So we're holding out the hope that you know that we are going to find this jetpack. However, after like a week or two of the internet searching, we seem to be not that much closer to the truth, but clues abound. So uh, we've had some interesting tweets to the at GTA Via Clock account, uh, not least one from Nate Baked, which I almost mispronounced. And he says, um, I've just got into the conspiracy thing. And he says, what if it's a chart? And this is the mural now you find on top of Mount Chiliad. He says, what if it's a chart telling you which order to do things and who with? So you're starting from the bottom 
Like if you look at each of the objects, like the jetpack, the egg, and what's the other one? The other one. And um, you follow the line up, and you have to like complete certain things in the story timeline, or find certain things in the order according to that character, like a pathway. Right. Um, I've not tried to do that, and that's one mighty undertaking. Yeah. But it is a potential thread of discovery. Now, some doubt the existence of the jetpack and some of the conspiracy stuff. Now, we've had a really interesting video linked to us from a YouTube user, SMM07. He sort of question mark says, does this disprove the theory? Now, watch this for a crazy bit of glitchery. What? Why? So there we go. So and he, he like jumps under the world, but it, in fact, it's like, the game seeing it is over the world because it's triggered the San Andreas icon that you get when you break the hemisphere. And he's floating under the world but simultaneously over it. And like cutting a long story short, the video flies him along and he, he shows you on the map uh, where he gets to. And effectively it's like underneath Mount Chiliad. Mm. Now what he's trying to say is I think there's this nothing here. glitch proves there's nothing underneath. Because one of the theories is there's a secret lift that goes under Mount Chiliad exposing the path to the jetpack. Now whilst that's an insane glitch and like a really fun thing to find, I don't know if it really proves anything either way because if the game's doing that, it's clearly not operating as it should do. No. So, and it could be that this area, if it exists, would unlock or be sort of partitioned differently in the code. So They're not gonna build anything inside Chitliad anyway because they weren't, well, they, they, may be, they may have built something inside Chitliad but they're not, they're not expecting you to come at it from that angle. So the fact that there's nothing there isn't really here or there. Yeah, it, it, I wouldn't look at that as conclusive. Uh, we've also had uh, an interesting alternate perspective on the conspiracy. This is from like the GTA warehouse forums. People are saying that we're reading the mural wrong. Where the, What this theory is based on is that what we've been doing traditionally is getting the mural with the sort of eye or the UFO with the beams coming out of it and placing it uh, like slap down so the map faces north mm. like overlaying it on the map as you've seen us do a couple of times and when you do that certain points tie up more or less exactly with the location of certain UFOs now what this person is suggesting that is that when you actually look underneath the Mount Chiliad uh, sort of cable car top there is like a hidden eye a red scrawled eye which directly matches up to the thing on the mural and what this guy is saying is that you know, to truly align the mural with where the image actually appears on the floor, it puts the map sort of facing in a different direction, so it's sort of facing west. And what he says then is that the, the key pathway through the middle of the mural runs along the cable car route. Right. And it's like a different perspective, and so the different boxes and things to find are in fact like to do with a different part of the mountain. Again, it's an interesting theory, but one without sort of concrete evidence to prove anything, and it certainly then doesn't tie in with the UFOs, which feels a bit more complete. Mm. But it's it's an interesting alternate way to look at it, and whatever's true is you know whatever we're trying, we haven't found it yet, so it's no. worth considering alternative options. Um, what else have we got? Uh, interesting. Uh, we had a nice picture from Tom Bryan on Twitter, who says, "Is this a clue?" And he sent us a picture of what looks like a church in Los Santos and it says find out about your elf on the mountain but there's like an S that's dropped off down the bottom so could it be find out about yourself on the mountain mm. hinting that again there's some sort of bigger secret whether it's like a link to epsilonism finding yourself I don't know but it, it's, it's clear that the world is dotted with clues that may or may not link up to bigger conspiracies or ideas. Or literally you find an elf on the mountains. Well, there are. <laughs> There's not, I don't know about elves, but there are gnomes in the game yeah. who bear their ass. So there are pictures on the social club of cheeky gnomes with their bottoms. <laughs> so I don't know about elves yet. We haven't found any elves. Um, another thing to talk about is that a screenshot of a jetpack did the rounds on Twitter. And lots of people tweeted it at us saying... Look, it's the jetpack, it's proof, it's here. Now, the contention seems to be on GTA forums is that this shot is fake. It's hard to def definitively prove it's fake, and we can't definitively prove it's fake, but uh, somebody's found a 3D model, like perhaps from one of the big 3D rendering programs, with a picture 
of the same jetpack that appears in the faked, you know, we think, picture, and it's uncannily similar. Yeah. And I think it is, a, for someone with a bit of Photoshop skill, it's a relatively easy job to knock up a screen that looks authentic. Mm. Now, also, it seems unlikely to me that one person in the world would have found the jetpack and then not told anybody about it yeah. or failed to have filmed it even with a shaky camera. I, I just think it smells fake. Yeah. Um, and we say we can't 100% disprove it, and I still sort of believe there's a jetpack in the game, and I you know, with, I think we're barking up the wrong avenue, but I don't think this screenshot is, is the proof of it at all, to be quite honest with you. Next up, we have got... Well, we've got a couple of things with GTA Online. Uh, one is... This isn't really related to the UFO conspiracy but I think it's quite interesting it's sort of a re-emergence of ghost cars it's not technically ghost cars like in San Andreas where they would literally like spawn on top of hills and roll down the back of beyond but here we've got a car in GTA Online that rolls out of nowhere and then sort of bounces around like it's a shark like jumping out and down the sea yeah I said to you when we watched it off air it's you know it's obviously a physics glitch but uh Quite an interesting one. Yeah, it's just a really cute and slightly insane physics glitch. I don't think it's proof of uh, our lizard overlords no, or anything. But I, not I, this time. Yeah, not this time. I do think it's a pretty funny video. Okay, now also people have started uh, tweeting us and saying, I've been shot down by a UFO in GTA Online. Right. Uh, now, one person sent a still shot. That's from L Waster. He's got a picture of him like, being struck by a beam from above, like a beam of light, and he's saying, could it be UFOs? Well, it's almost in the realm of real-life UFOs. There's no way to prove it. It is an unusual shot. Now, we did get sent a video by someone saying they were shot down by aliens, but to me, it looked more like rocket fire or a missile. Mm. Now, and above Fort Zancudo, I believe they have got, like, remote rockets. Yeah. So it could just be you've been hit by a rocket. Yeah. Again, until someone shows me a video of the camera panning to reveal a UFO, yeah. I'll remain... A skeptic, skeptic in this, in a this UFO one. skeptic. Uh, more interesting GTA Online glitchy stuff. Jack Wilson sent us a picture of a flying car with its doors open, just floating above the freeway. Yeah, just like they do. Just like they do. Weird. Yeah. And then uh, this is great. Like people had speculated that going back to the Mount Chiliad UFO conspiracy, that the egg isn't an alien egg, but a T Rex egg, which again seemed like some fanciful flight of imagination, but. There is a cafe stroke restaurant in Blaine County called Rex's Diner. There's a big T-Rex holding a hot dog outside. Now, on one of the cafe toilet doors, there's like a T-Rex footprint burnt in. Right. Which is is weird. Now, where all of this gets really exciting and very surreal is that there's some shots of things in Lester's house. Oh, yes, right, yeah. Now, Lester, obviously, you know, he's, he's a conspiracy nut. And his room is like a complete treasure trove of weird incidences Stuff, yeah. and things. Now, we've got a few shots on screen here, one of which is a jetpack you can see in Lester's house, which is like a red box with a lead hanging out of it, and it's got like a 8-bit... Eight eight yeah, like a pic, this pixel base. It's almost like a character from the game Jetpack, yeah. absolutely eons ago. Now, yeah. whether that's a reference to old school shooters but it does seem weird that you know it's like a space guy with a jetpack and a gun flying it's not unlike the jetpack image from San Andreas you know hey it's a jetpack I don't really think the jetpack lives in Lester's box well I was going to say to you what, what are the wires hanging out of it maybe maybe he may, what, what about Dan I'm going to throw yeah. it out there what throw about it. if Lester in that box Lester has some stuff in his box right yeah that uh he d hasn't figured out what it's used for. He maybe found out in the desert or something. And there's different bits to the the jetpack sort of discarded all over the world and you have to kind of piece oh, them together. Surely someone would have found a piece by now, though. Yeah, maybe. Surely. But I, I don't know. I mean, I would say at best it's like an... Or worst, it's an Easter egg. Saying, yeah. hey, look, it's a dude with the jetpack. Ho, ho, ho. Now, what is weird is there are other clues in Lester's apartment that have sort of proved to be correct. Uh, one is, he's got, well, he's got two things. One is like two big folders. One's a brown box saying archive, and it's got assassinations written on it. Now, we do know that he does dish out assassination missions. Yeah. There's some background to that. The folder next to it is 
zombie outbreaks. Now, Rockstar have got heritage here because yeah. they have done like a Red Dead Zombie yeah. DLC, and this people would obviously want that. I think for you know, be honest, the zombie invasion within the GTA Five world would be pretty exciting yeah. to play. So, could it be a hint at like future DLC or something else to unlock, or just a cool, fun thing? We don't know, but there's also further stuff in Lester's room that you know could be a clue because there's two stickers. One is of an alien head. Which again, we know for a fact there's UFOs, there's UFOs under the sea, there's what looks like an alien egg, there's the UFO under the ice. You know, aliens are, references to them are, you know, littered throughout the game. And underneath it, Bigfoot. There he is. Uh, and we know that, again, Bigfoot is kind of in the game. One through a sniper sight in the O'Neill mission, and another time when you actually find him in the Franklin mission at the end of the game. You know, again, you can see that on a video link on screen right now mm. so those two things are real so it seems like some of the stuff in Lester's room is very deliberate now even more interesting there's some newspaper clippings on the left and one of them says dinosaur fossils found in Los Santos hood well 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 wow 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 so whether that means something I don't know it's weird that it would mention dinosaurs there's no Fossils without dinosaur muscular articulation. Yeah, uh, as the scientists say. Yeah, as the scientists say. Uh, so, so go looking in the hood, I guess. Yeah, I, you know, hey, we don't know. And it's also worth pointing out that we picked up on a really cool video the other day. There's a Thelma and Louise Easter egg that again you can see by clicking on the link. And this shows the sort of obscurity there is in the game. There's a location sort of above one of the rivers where if you stand on a mountain opposite, you can see police cars parked and a open top car that it, while you watch it at a certain time of day will drive off the cliff and then you can see like it fall all the way down and when you keep tracking when it hits one of the ladies in it runs away so she lives just like the film just, oh no wait a minute yeah, just unlike the film yeah but again it's a great fun throwaway easter yeah, yeah. and again another movie reference and it would have been so easy to miss because to be in that location at exactly the right time and to spot it all unfold it would be really tricky and like like Tim and I were talking about off air there's so much in the game that unless the missions put you there you'd have to very deliberately seek them yeah. out and you were saying about like uh, the huge motel that's signed up in Blaine County yeah yeah it's just like you know I'm um, is it yeah despite having having spent a lot of time in and around sandy shores and blaine county and that sort of thing you know the the, the huge motel you get with that straight you know that you find with a strangers and freaks mission with Claytus where you go uh shooting satellite dishes and then car mm. tires and then uh wolves or coyotes sorry um that hotel a motel i'd literally never come across it and yet it's massive it's sort of sitting there yeah. in the middle of the in of that environment and unless you're directed there you might not ever find it. It's just, it seemed incredible to me that there's this game world uh, that is that insanely detailed and in a way, you know, part of the joy, and I guess part of the joy that GTA has always brought us is that there are these things just sitting there just waiting to be found and there are no like, okay, I guess you could argue Claytus was a way to direct me there, but otherwise, if I'd never done that Strangers and Freaks mission, I might never have even thought to, to go there. Yeah, yeah, it's very, very weird. Um, now, and I've also found like weird, huge mansions up near the Pacific Bluffs that you just think, what a huge building! Why isn't that more, you know, more yeah. flagged? And what's that doing there? We'll see. You know, so I've got a lot of scope to build out missions and different things within this world as, as things grow. So. That's kind of it for today, Tim. Yeah, well, thanks for listening. Uh, we hope you've enjoyed it. Do get in touch uh, with any questions. Probably the best form uh, forum for that is our Twitter feed or our Facebook page uh, because that's a little bit easier to read through your messages than on YouTube, where um, it gets a bit of a, a bit difficult to, to sometimes pick out uh, pick out the really uh, really good questions. So please do get in touch. You can subscribe, of course. Uh, we'd love you to subscribe, we'd love you to follow us on Twitter and to be on Facebook, and we'd love you to come back this time next week for another GTA 5 o'clock. And before that, come back on Friday. Oh, of course. Every Friday we do a GTA, GTA 5 Live play or GTA 5 Live every Friday at 4pm BST. We will be playing GTA Online or GTA 5 Live. Please come in and join us. Please watch on the YouTube channel. The videos are always hosted afterwards so you can catch up. We're looking for your ideas for things to attempt. 
We're probably going to give the shows a bit more focus and try and do some fun activities. Please let us know on Twitter what you'd like us to do. We will step up to the mark and try and make it so, hopefully with some less clownish play. Thanks for listening. We'll see you again next week. Goodbye. Bye.